Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be trying out the Watchdog Water Alarm. Uh, what happens is you would put this uh, in a location in your home uh, that may uh, have some water tripping or a uh, possibility of some uh, that could cause damage. For example, you can see here they've got it in the uh, attic where maybe you have an air conditioner or a heating system up there, uh, sinks, bath, dishwasher, refrigerator, washing machine, sump pump. Uh, that's some locations. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, I mean, it would probably be good to keep mold away like you see here. Uh, I got pictures on the back that show someone's put it in, put it near their water heater, laundry room. This would be a really good idea. This may actually be where I put it at. Uh, if you, uh, if your drain may be leaking, you know, you may not know it for a long time underneath the cabinet. Might be a good place. Uh, it would detect water as little as one thirty seconds of an inch, and uh, you will use a uh, nine volt battery for this. Not included. So uh, I'm going to go grab a battery. I'm going to take this out and we will uh, see what it's like. Looks like the battery is, uh, or you would put the battery in here. Uh, okay, so I think you put a little like wire all right so we have that's where you put the battery on the side yeah I just wanted to show you so you can get an idea of how how big 130 seconds of an inch is yeah so yeah it detects as little as 130 seconds of an inch um, so this is like a mandrel from a handpiece, and that's 330 seconds right there. So you can see it doesn't take much uh, water before it will start the alarm on this thing, supposedly. And yeah, if we could uh, save, uh, you know, mold growing that we don't know about, this might be a pretty good uh, device. Going over the instructions here, um, there's not a whole lot of instructions. It just tells you, you know, where to put the battery. Uh, you may want to mark the expiration date on your battery. Uh, once you put the battery in here, maybe with a piece of tape somewhere, they suggest, um, so you'll know when to change it or have an idea of when to change it. If the alarm goes off for a long period of time, it might be a good idea to uh, change the battery as well. As far as placement, um, you can place it as one unit, meaning I would have to put the wire back in place and just set it you know, directly maybe on the floor, like you see under the, underneath the sink. Um, if you wanted to extend the range, then you can, like they have here, that's a, a sump pit. Um, They've got it over here, and they've got the wire hanging down in the pit. Just gives you, you know, more of a more of a reach. Uh, also, you can. There's holes here. Uh, this is the sensor, so you can, you know, put screws down if you want to have it stabilized somewhere. Um, if you want to hang it up, there's a hole back here. That you can uh, put on a uh, you know nail or screw. Here's my new battery. This is a Dollar Tree special. I don't think there is a way to test the alarm, so we're going to go find some water. But before we do that, we're going to find a place where we're going to uh, put it. 
uh, at least get an idea of where we may want to put this at. I have a couple of ideas, so I'll show you where that's going to be at. So around there may be a place. Um, however, we haven't had any trouble really, but uh, that would be a possibility. Under here, we've got a bucket, so uh, you know we're not, probably not going to have any trouble there. So here's where I decided I think I'm going to put it at. Right here in the basement. The basement door is right there. Sometimes, probably four or five times a year, if we have rain where the wind is blowing it against the basement door, it'll come underneath and it'll settle right here. Yeah, it doesn't go much farther out there, but right here. And it will expand all the way over here sometimes. If it's enough rain, you can see the uh, wood there. And on the other side over here, it will occasionally go over there as well. Uh, I'll have to shop back the water up, you know, when the rain stops. Um, and I will uh, or sweep it or squeegee it. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it takes some time and, you know, it's just a mess. So I'm thinking if I put it right here, right where it settles, the low point, um, I can catch it in time, get down here, start sweeping it up before it, uh, it gets too deep. You know, otherwise it's going to take, uh, it's going to take quite a bit of time and it's a big mess. So, yeah, this will, uh, this will eliminate some of the time. The effort that it takes to clean up also it'll be convenient to move if I've got a lawnmower and I'm going to take outside uh, I can just pick this up move it and when I get finished put it back in place so uh, I think that's going to be the best place for me right now so in the meantime let's go upstairs let's give it a try a test for the first time we'll listen to this uh, alarm see how it sounds and see how receptive it is to uh, uh, a very little amount of water. thought this would be a good place to do the first time test in the bathtub so I'm just going to take the watchdog place it down here at the drain. I've got some water here I'm going to pour towards the drain slowly. Uh, let's go ahead and shut it off, shut the drain. Now there is no on off button on it so uh, as soon as it reaches the water level, you should hear it. You're going to be able to hear that. You left the whole house, I promise you. Whew, man, it's loud. Ear, ear piercing. Okay, now we'll test it with the, uh, well, we know it works, but uh, I'm just going to put the wire, we'll submerge it in water and uh, see how responsive it is. All right, here we go. We've got the uh, wire out, got the wire extended. I'm going to go ahead and submerge in the bedpan. Well, I guess that'll be it for the Watchdog water alarm uh, on a 9-volt battery. The alarm sound should last approximately three days. Um, if you have this near uh, a door somewhere and closed, you should be able to hear this outside. It's that loud. Uh, being in that closed-off bathroom, my ears are still ringing. Uh, so it works pretty well. Uh, again, that's the Watchdog. Uh, water alarm. Thank you for watching the video. Till next time, have a great day. And take care.